Jim Harbaugh is off the job, barred from the sidelines for the rest of the regular season, including the rivalry game against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Our Dan Cummins live in studio with us tonight. So, Dan, we are looking at legal action from the Wolverines. It's happening fast, yeah. Harbaugh and the Michigan Board of Regents have filed a temporary restraining order naming both the Big Ten and its commissioner. As of now, the Big Ten ordering Harbaugh off the field for the next three games late this afternoon. Now, that punishment comes as the Michigan football program faces allegations it broke sportsmanship rules. The Big Ten says there's evidence a staffer went to opposing teams' games and studied the signs they used to call plays. Harbaugh will still be permitted to coach during the week. It hits a big hit. The Wolverines are unbeaten 9-0. They play at Penn State tomorrow and on pace for a shot at a third straight Big Ten title and a run of the school's first national championship since 97. Today's decision sparking strong reaction for fans. We went to Ottawa Lake Whiteford for high school football to hear opinions on Harbaugh's suspension. I feel bad for the Michigan football players. They've had a tremendous year, and they don't deserve to have this hanging over their heads. They should, you know, they're heading into a, an extremely important game tomorrow, and uh, this is a distraction that they don't deserve to have on there. There's always hard, uh, bad feelings and bad blood between Michigan and Ohio State, but I think it, it will take on a little extra uh, in Ann Arbor when they play. Harbaugh has denied any knowledge of the alleged sign stealing scandal and get this Michigan warned earlier this week. It is prepared to take legal action if the conference punished the program before a full investigation. Right now, the NCAA and the Big Ten are both looking into claims live in studio. Dan Cummins, WTOL 11. Jeff.